Hello everyone, I'm Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about what happens when a narcissist realizes you are no longer interested. Please hit the thumbs up button down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website. It is narcsurvivor.co.uk. When a narcissist realizes you are no longer interested, the narcissist deliberately pulls away because by leaving you feeling rejected, it makes them feel desired and wanted. However, this move is heavily dependent on your response to it. It depends on you feeling like you are missing something, as though you can't live without them, which is how they're able to feel when you're pulling away, even when they leave you. Because they only pull away to leave you wanting them, and if you couldn't care less about them not being there, it affects them, and it leaves them feeling unwanted. Narcissists get tired easily. It doesn't take much for them to give up on something, which is how they are energy vampires. They will leave you feeling depleted mentally and emotionally. They are attached to your energy, which they drain to uplift themselves to create a sense of elevation in themselves so they are able to feel when your energy dissipates. You put a lot of energy into your situation with a narcissist when they're needing a lot of your time and patience and they're putting you through delays, problems and suffering when you have to exercise tolerance and self-restraint. That takes up a lot of your energy because you're having to control your emotions and actions while you're talking to them and doing things for them every day. And the more time you spend around them, the more familiar to you they become until you feel like you are forming a close relationship, which is a potent source of energy to a narcissist. They are feeding from that until they become accustomed to it and it seems normal and usual but you're actually putting out a great deal of energy, which is their narcissistic supply. And it is extremely powerful. You may not realize it, but it actually has a lot of influence over them. It has affected them to such an extent that they are able to detect even slight changes in your behavior and responses, which makes them very uncomfortable. But even though you may have had some arguments or disagreements with them, they won't immediately separate from you. Even though you may be in control of a lot of their behaviours and they may be bound to you, the narcissist still finds enjoyment in that. They like it even when you're angry, upset or disappointed because you're still giving them your energy. You're still giving them fuel which tells them that there's still a connection between the two of you. Now the problem for them begins when you become indifferent, when you're no longer as stimulated as you used to be, because then you're no longer engaging in their prolonged arguments, you're no longer trying to defend yourself or prove your points, because you no longer care, which means that they can no longer get that same type of fuel from you anymore. They may make attempts to restore you to a previously operational state by behaving in particular ways for a certain amount of time. Or if that doesn't work, they may make insulting and unfair remarks or take advantage of your vulnerabilities because they want to see how much you still care. They want to see if they still have a grip on you from where they had previously gained mastery and control over you and they could deal with you skillfully and efficiently and often with a successful outcome. So they went to see if they can get those types of reactions out of you again through starting arguments with you because they want to break you. They want to kill that beauty and spark in you.
They want to upset the natural order and cause irreversible damage to you. They want to break your will. They want to destroy your sense of self and your own individualism. To convince you of your worthlessness. To the point where you are incapable of understanding what has been done to you. They want, they want to inflict so much psychological stress upon you. So that you're no longer able to make your own rational decisions. So that you don't think you deserve better and you don't leave. Because by that point, your self-worth is diminished. And you no longer feel like you have a reason for being or a purpose for existing. They want to take away your joy in life and your belief and joy in who you are. They want to take away your dreams and the life that you had hoped for. To the point where you are so emotionally beaten down that you've gone from who you were to someone who has lost all hopes and dreams of the person you once had been. Until you feel like you aren't even deserving of joy and you have lost all hope and desire for happiness. They want to break you and leave you in a state of depression until it results in suicidal thoughts. They want to push you over the edge until you start to behave in a crazy way because you're the opposite of them. You may be the type of person who looks beyond and deep you accept and learn from other people's mistakes so that we can all grow as people and as a society. Narcissists are against healing and growing. So even though they may reject all of the blame onto you, they hate how you take accountability for everything and how you can be indifferent. By doing that, they see it as though you're trying to punish them. But if you lose your determination and courage, they may punish you. Which is why by that point, all you can really do is leave. Because if you give them another chance and you try to compromise and you accept standards that are lower than what you desire, even though that is not going to be adequate enough for a narcissist, they're not gonna feel satisfied. Because as a defense mechanism, they think in extremes. So they have an all or nothing thinking pattern. And if you are willing to compromise, to them that means that the entire time you were playing a game, it means that you were trying to deceive them. So now you have to be punished because you made them go through something that they didn't have to go through. That's how they're going to see it. Because they have an inability to understand that other person's situation, problems and feelings. So they're not going to see it as though you're frustrated, annoyed and unhappy with the situation or that you're past the limit of your ability to deal with pain and suffering because it was too intense or because it continued for a very long time. They are not going to be able to interpret it that way because they're unable to get past themselves. They're unable to look beyond their own ego and negative emotions. They lack the strength to overcome their internal and emotional obstacles, which is something they would have to do before they could ever consider your circumstances. So instead, they're going to see it as though you were playing a game, as though you told lies and tricked them. Even though you may have been completely serious, you may have been fed up and maybe you were about to leave, but they will still see it as though you were trying to punish them, as though you were playing a game with them. And that's how it all starts. Where they're nitpicking and fault finding, they're doing things deliberately to upset you and their mind games get worse until you get fed up and you can't take any more. You lose interest and you decide to leave because you realize that you are unable to change the situation and that things are never going to improve. But even when you decide to leave, they're not taking it seriously because at one point you did care about who you thought they were and they assume that you can't detach just because you had an argument with them. So even when you go no contact, they're expecting you to come back. Which is why they will go and entertain other sources of supply. Because they assume that in time you will forget what they did and then you will go back to them. But if you don't, and instead you're giving all of your attention to something that is making you happy, they know. They can tell when you're happy without them. They can sense it in your energy. 
They can tell if you're still long and yearning for them or if someone else has captured your interest, which is how they will appear at certain times. And it will seem like a coincidence, but it's not. They know that you're distracted by something else, outside of the games you feel that they locked you in, because there's no longer that gravitational pull. And when they realize that, they will make a sudden concerted effort, but only to disrupt whatever you're engaged in or whatever is distracting you from them rather than to be anything significant to you. They're just trying to disrupt whatever you're trying to build, whatever is moving you forward and away from them. They can sense it when you are moving on because your mood changes. You no longer talk to them the way that you did before. And instead, you're giving them a different type of energy. So they recognize you're not the same. They can see that something is going on. They can sense that your energy has shifted but for such a long time, your energy was tied to them. And they were soaking and bathing in all of your energy and efforts, which was a very pleasant experience for them. But now it's no longer as intense. And they instantly pick up on it. They can tell when that energy is no longer there. They can tell when you have detached from them. And it makes them feel like you are healing and moving on. It's only when you're hurt that you're still giving them your energy because that's the frequency they are on. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.